Hey guys, Bert the Stormtrooper here coming at you one more time from the Mobile Command Studio for another edition of Nerd Rage. And uh, I've got a couple of things to talk about. Uh, first off, you're probably noticing that um, I'm dressed a little different than normal. Uh, that's because I just started a new job. Uh, today was my first day at a new job. It's very exciting. It's a huge step up for me. Um, so lots of cool things hopefully coming ahead. Um, now the downside to that is that in my previous job, I could pretty much wear whatever I wanted. So I went to work every day in shorts and nerdy t-shirts is what I wore to work every day. Um, not so much at my new place. Uh, it's, it's a little more serious and you got to dress up. So uh, this is what I'm going to be looking like now whenever I do a video from the car. Uh, unless I think ahead and just bring a t-shirt in the car with me. I don't, I don't know. Um, I typically don't think ahead when I do these videos, these little uh, um, command studio videos. I usually don't think ahead. These are usually just kind of spur of the moment. Hey, I got an idea of something I want to talk about and I hit record on the phone. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep a shirt in the car. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, moving on. Um, so I just hit, like Friday night, Saturday morning, I just hit 1,000 subscribers. And that just blows my mind, guys. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you guys. Everybody that's subscribed, everybody that watches my videos every week, leaves me comments, everybody that's been uh, just so supportive with me this entire time. Thank you so, so much. It's been just over a year. It's been like a year and a month, a year and two months, something like that, since I started doing videos regularly. That's when I started doing That's Just Prime. And in just a, uh, just a little over a year, to have 1,000 subscribers just blows my mind. I'm filled with joy and I'm filled with gratitude to each and every single one of you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. So, a uh, quick story from this past weekend. Uh, my daughter wanted me to take her to this small uh, anime show in Tampa. Uh, it was called Tampa Anime Day Number 4. I guess it's because that's the fourth one they've done in Tampa. Uh, ta uh, uh, anime Day is like this one-day show that goes from city to city. I was looking at their Facebook page. Uh, facebook.com slash anime day or you can look up your particular city anime day you can find that on Facebook and it looks like they they do it at different cities because I saw like an Atlanta anime day and and so on and like the Atlanta one was at like number 12 so I guess they've been doing it up there for a while so I guess this one was the fourth one for um, for Tampa uh, cool little show uh, it was very small and uh, you know as one day shows tend to be but really cool little show they had uh, first off um, the entrance for me was free because I'm a veteran so thank you anime day for that that was that was really cool and unexpected I came in and just I had no idea just uh, as I was paying for admission for my daughter and I just I just threw it out there for the heck of it do you have a military discount or a veterans discount they said yes. I showed my card and said they said you're free. Okay, cool. Wow, thank you. So anime day, thank you for that. That was very appreciated. Um, so they had uh, they had a game room. They had a couple different platforms set up, and you can just go in and sign up and sit down and play with other people. And they had people coming in and out of that room at a couple points in the day. You couldn't walk into that room. It was so full of people. Uh, and everybody was playing your usual, your fighters, your Smash Brothers, your games like that. Um, everybody was having a very good time in there. Uh, dealer room was pretty cool, um, a little small. Again, it was a one-day show, so you don't expect it to be something huge. Um, but cool, cool little story about the the uh, dealer room is uh, we walk in, and as soon as I walk into the dealer room, I scan the whole thing, and I see to the to the very far wall two particular booths, one that had like Gundams and uh, possible, you know, when I see Gundams, I think possibly Transformers, so I know I want to go check that booth out. And they, they, they had some, they had a couple of Transformers, some G1 stuff, but I already had them, so um, I didn't, I didn't shop, I didn't end up buying anything from this particular booth, but 
Uh, but they did have some stuff. Uh, they had some Gundams, and I did. Uh, I've never done Gundams before, but I, I, I'm starting to get a little bit of interest in them. My buddy Vendela, uh, who's one of my featured channels, uh, he's he does a lot of Gundam stuff, and he's kind of been educating me on the Gundam stuff. So there's particular models that I'm familiar with. So I was looking to see if maybe they had those, and and, and they didn't. So. Um, so I didn't end up buying them from them. But the booth next to them, uh, as soon as I walked in, I saw them. It was video games. And I made a beat. That was the very first booth I had. I walked straight to that booth. And I went over. They had all the all the new gen stuff right out front. And then off to the side and to the corner of the room, they had all the vintage stuff. So that's, that's just immediately where I went to. And I started looking through all the Nintendo games, Super Nintendo, Genesis, all that stuff. Well, the gentleman attending the booth gets up and goes, Hey, uh, oh, by the way, before I go any further, I should probably mention that I'm in my Ghostbusters gear. Uh, because if I'm going to go to a con and that, that has no specific theme for me and I don't have anything to wear, what the heck, I'm going to put on my Ghostbusters gear because everything goes with Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is like black. It goes with everything. So uh, it went. the costume went over uh, pretty well. I had a lot of people ask me for for pictures people wanted to check out the gear and uh, I got a lot of compliments so you know the costume went over well it's a fun costume to wear you can kind of you know get crazy with it and and it's it's just a fun costume to wear so I'm wearing my, my Ghostbusters gear so I walk over and I start looking at all the video games and the gentleman attending the booth gets up and he goes oh hey I know you and and I look up and I'm like you do and he goes yeah you just went to my store last week in Mascotti and he introduced himself, his name was Gus, and it just happened to be the owner of Cybertron Video Games in Mascotti that I just talked about in my last video. So uh, I got to know him, and you know, he introduced himself, I introduced my, myself, and we got to talking, we got to hang out for a little while. Very cool guy, um, and he told me about his other store, they have another store in Winter Park he was telling me about. He thanked me for mentioning them in the in the last video that I did with the, uh, the Dan Aykroyd video, he thanked me for mentioning the store and uh, and we just we just hung out and talked for a while uh, and I ended up purchasing a couple of games from him I found I found three games for Nintendo uh, the three that are not uh, usually very uh, like highly sought after but when I saw them there were there were games that I wanted to put in my collection uh, I picked up Spy Hunter uh, for the NES which is one of the games that I had as a kid that I sold later on and uh, I've kind of put off on buying because I own the arcade version uh, it's kind of like an arcade emulator version it's on the GameCube it's on one of the collection uh, midway collection discs that I have for the GameCube so because I had the ver that version I've kind of held off on buying the Nintendo version but he had it there he, he had a very good price for it so I picked that up um, I also picked up uh, Robocop the first Robocop game for the NES which was one of my favorite arcade games back in the day I love playing that game on the arcade and, uh, and I know the Nintendo version wasn't uh, as good as the arcade, but it's still a very fun little, you know, kind of side-scroller, beat-em-up, shoot-em-up kind of game, so I like playing that. And, uh, and then the third game that I picked up was, what, what was the third game that I picked up? It was Top Secret Episode, Galgo 13, that's the one it was. Uh, I don't know why, I just blanked on that, but... Uh, so uh, cool, also very cool game, uh, very cool story. It's like, it's such a weird, odd game for the Nintendo. Not the best gameplay, but it has such a great story that it tells. So three games I didn't have and, and uh, I wanted to put into my collection. And of course, Gus gave me a great deal. So Cybertron Video Games, once again, awesome guys hooking me up. Uh, not hooking me up, but you know, you know, helping me out. Gave me, you know, he gave me a good price. Uh, found some awesome games, and and he, he was saying that that wasn't even his best display. It was kind of like a last-minute grab-and-go display, and pff, that blew my mind because he has some really good games out there. So I can only imagine how good his booth would be if he had time to prepare, which, in fact, he's going to have a booth at MegaCon, which I'm going to be at in two weeks. So I can't wait to go see their booth at MegaCon because I'm probably going to spend a lot of money at their booth. Uh, Cybertron Video Games, again, uh, awesome. Um, so I found I found those games that that happened this weekend. That was just so funny that I went into a, a convention just kind of last minute. My daughter wanted to go, and and these guys just happened to be there. So that was that that, that was just a fun little story that happened. And then lastly, um, I just stopped at Toys R Us on my way home, and I found this guy. 
Blackjack, Decepticon Blackjack for the Combiner Wars. So this is the guy that's going to be the chess piece for Menasaur. Once, uh, if I if I ever find Motormaster, I haven't been able to find that guy yet. So, but I'll probably do a review on this guy and I'll show him off on Optimus as the chess piece for Optimus. So we'll see how it looks on that. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to find this guy. Uh, they also had Huffer, but I didn't pick him up. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Huffer. Uh, every, uh, you know, it's a repaint with a new head of that uh, Optimus Prime mold that came out a year or two ago, which I have, which I've reviewed. And uh, I, I just don't know that a an, op, an orange Optimus Prime works as a Huffer. I, and in none of the pictures that I've seen, it's really just reached out to me to want to buy it. Uh, but I will say that seeing it in person, the colors are really nice. The orange and the purples, uh, very vibrant, very nice colors. I actually had second thoughts about picking him up. Uh, they had two of them. I left them. I might change my mind later. Who knows? Um, I just, I really don't want to pick up a Huffer that's an, a, a, a repaint of an Optimus Prime. Uh, I, I think they can do better. I think they can come up with a, a new mold for that, you know? So, I don't know. Um, I, I've got mixed feelings on that figure, so I didn't pick it up. But I did get Blackjack, so that's an awesome find there. Um, excited to see that. So, I think that's about it. Just catching up on the weekend and a cool little story from the weekend. And, uh, and again, a thousand subscribers. That is so awesome. And one more time, thank you to each and every single one of you guys that has subscribed. You guys that watch my videos every week. You guys support me. You guys leave me comments. You guys get in touch with me. Thank you so much, guys. You let me know that I'm being watched, and that's why I keep doing the videos. Um, because you guys keep, you know, interacting with me. And, 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 I, and I love it. And I thank you guys. Love you guys. Thank you guys. I can't thank you guys enough. So, I think that's going to do it. Um, let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. Leave me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.